Hey everyone, welcome to a mom for every season. If you are brand new, my name is Taryn and thank you so much for stopping by. I would love for you to stick around and hit that subscribe button if you are brand new. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and tuning in. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you just my little early morning routine that I do for my own self-care as a mom and before my kids get up because it is such an important part of my day that I take that time for myself and make myself a priority because I am just such a better mother and a better person when I take that time for myself. So I'll give you a little peek of how it goes. I posted a video on how to wake up earlier and if you haven't checked out that video, I will link it right here and in the description box down below as well. But I will give you, I share all my tips on how I get up earlier. This is especially for those night owls because I used to be a night owl and I used to stay up till midnight or one in the morning and then, you know, be tired and cranky in the morning. And now I'm waking up, I woke up at 5.30 this morning. And that, like if you had told me that, I was gonna be waking up at 5.30, like two months ago, I would've been like, no, I don't believe you. It's not happening. I am like a heavy sleeper and I am a night owl, but I am making it work and I'm making myself a priority. Because of course we know as moms that self-care is so important in order that we can, I would say, fill our cup first before we can fill other people's. Or you know what, my morning routine is me making my business a priority before I, you know, before I put on and take on anybody else's business. And I mean, if you have young kids or kids in general, then of course we're gonna make them a priority during the day. That's just the way motherhood works. So for me, the only time I can really get is first thing in the morning. So this is the routine I go through every single day, even on weekends. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna go through my morning routine, just kind of vlog style. And yes, keep in mind, I we my kids do end up in our bed at some point during the night. And I am a very heavy sleeper, so I don't even notice it half the time until the next morning, so. The first few clips here are a little dark because of lighting, but here I wake up around 5.36, and as you can see, my son is in the bed for a snuggle. So I literally just sneak out of bed and most of this I actually just do in the dark. I'll either use like the light, like a little book light. So the very first thing I do as soon as I climb out of bed is I will grab my headphones and I will search for a meditation. And this really depends on how I'm feeling that morning or what I feel like I need to hold space for. Sometimes it's, you know, kundalini meditations or gratitude meditations or binaural sounds. It really depends. This morning I chose a new moon meditation because it was the new moon. Okay, just to be completely transparent here, the rest of these clips are not during real time. I had to video them in the daylight because I just couldn't get them in real time with the lighting. So my meditations will again vary every morning. Sometimes they're five minutes, sometimes they're more like 30 or 45 minutes. It just really depends on what time I wake up at or if my kids wake up before I'm done. So I do have a little bit of a journal addiction. I have so many journals, it's sometimes hard to keep track of all of them. After my meditation, I will go straight to journaling and I usually just free write for the most part, just whatever comes to mind and what's on my heart. Here are some of my other journals that I use. This next one here is my bullet journal and I love to use it just to be a little bit more creative and set goals and use as a planner. I am really enjoying this book that I add to my morning routine once a week and it just really sets up your week. It asks what your intention for the week is, it asks some simple questions but then it also asks some deeper journal prompts too. I also usually include writing down what I'm grateful for and some I am affirmation statements 
And then I also have a journal that I write in monthly that it's almost like letters to my future self and what I have to do to align to that future self version. And then usually I will just read a book until one of my kids wakes up. Right now I'm reading The Universe Has Your Back by Gabby Bernstein. my kids are all up so I like to make the bed before I head downstairs to make them breakfast I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to know do you wake up early or what do you do for your self-care it doesn't even have to necessarily be in the morning so I'd love to know in the comments down below and if you are brand new I would love for you to stick around I post videos on motherhood and embracing the season of motherhood that you are in ditching the overwhelm and I love doing DIYs too so please stick around and hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification to get notified when there is a new video. Okay so thank you so much for watching. I always end my video with in case you haven't heard it today you are an amazing mom and you got this mama so thank you so much. Bye for now.